Hello students, welcome to another interesting, inspiring and motivational lesson of Beehive Chapter 8, Reach for the Top. I am Barsha, your teacher for today, who is going to explain you the chapter. Hope you like it and learn a lot for your life. So let us come to the chapter, Reach for the Top. It is about two women. The first part deals with Santosh Yadav, a passionate, a courageous, a brave young woman who despite of all odds tried to pursue her dream. This is what is the chapter all about. So let us enjoy the chapter. Before I start the chapter, I must tell you, this is a chapter about a young girl whose family was not along with her when she dreamt of something unusual out of the society. You know, we live in India and we have been brought up in a conservative, orthodox kind of culture and traditions which do not allow the women to excel in their lives. But this young woman, Santosh Yadav, Despite of all the obstacles, of all the challenges, tried to prove herself in the best possible way and achieved her goal. So let us start the chapter now. The only woman in the world who has scaled Mount Everest twice was born in a society where the birth of a son was regarded as a blessing. And a daughter, though not considered as a curse, was not generally welcome. So we could know Santosh Yadav was the only woman in the world during this time when this chapter was written. She was the only young woman who had scaled Mount Everest twice. She was born in a society where when a girl was born was not considered most welcome, you know, uh, as uh, boys are known as the sole bread earners of the society. So the birth of a woman was not considered that auspicious for our society. Anyhow, she was born in such a society. Let us move to the next part. When her mother was expecting Santosh, a traveling holy man, giving her his blessing, assumed that she wanted a son. But to everyone's surprise, the unborn child's grandmother who was standing close by, told him that they did not want a son. The holy man was also surprised. So it was a time when she was about to take the birth. She had not come into this world. You know, the saints are there, holy man is there, who was traveling around their home. And he saw this pregnant lady and he tried to bless her with her son. But to everybody's astonishment, where our society, where the world wants a son, a son is most welcome. Here, the grandmother of the unborn child who was not yet born, she told the holy man, no, no, we don't want a son. It's okay. We wanted a daughter. Why, you know? Because they had already five sons in their family. The holy man didn't have any idea about it. Anyhow, he just blessed her. And to everybody's astonishment, yes, a baby girl was born. And yes, definitely, she was a blessing to the family. And as destiny would have it, the blessing seemed to work. The blessing of the holy man had brought it true colors. And yes, she was a blessing to the family. Santosh was born the sixth child in a family with five sons, a sister to five brothers. She was born in the small village of Joniawat of Rewadi district in Haryana. Now let us come to the birth time of Santosh Yadav. Yes, she was born to a family of five sons. She was the youngest one in the family and she had her five brothers. So she was born in a small village of Joniawat which is in the Rewadi district in Haryana. And, you know, because it was a small place, uh, it was a conservative society where people were not that forward in upbringing of a girl. Anyhow, she was born in this place. 
the girl was given the name santosh which means contentment but santosh was not always content with her place in a traditional way of life she began living life on her own terms from the start where other girls wore traditional indian dresses santosh preferred shorts looking back she says now from the very beginning i was quite determined that if i chose a correct and a rational path the others around me had to change not me so when this girl was born she was named santosh we should know the meaning of santosh santosh is a hindi word which means contentment contentment is the ultimate satisfaction there is no point of any other desire in your life but you know santosh was never content she had always an urge she had so many desires she was unable to accept the traditional conservative way of upbringing in her society so whatever happened could not be accepted by her she was such a courageous girl who wanted to live life with her choices with her own decisions and in her own way so her life was quite contrary to the other girls it was very different and opposite to the other girls of the same place you know in a traditional conservative society girls are not allowed to wear western outfits such was the place haryana where girls were not allowed to wear so many western outfits so when the other girls were dressed up in the traditional salwar suit or sarees with the indian dresses here was santosh who preferred shorts and she wore it boldly she didn't care about anybody she didn't care about her family members she didn't care about the society who thought what she did it and today when she is asked how did you manage all such things she says i am not going to change my way for others and yes if i am correct to move on to follow my way then people should follow me and people should change their way of thinking and way of life but i am not going to change my way such was santosh yadav who was very much determined from the beginning of her life of a childhood santosh peers were affluent land owners who could afford to send their children to the best schools even to the country's capital new delhi which was quite close by but in line with the prevailing custom in the family santosh had to make do with the local village school so she decided to fight the system in her own quiet way when the right moment arrived and the right moment came when she turned 16 at 16 most of the girls in her village used to get married santosh was also under pressure from her parents to do the same so if we go to the family background of santosh we get to know that they were very rich affluent means very very rich and wealthy land owners of the place who had enough money to send their children to the top most school in in the country in india they were able to send their children to the capital to new delhi to pursue the education which was very close by to haryana but they didn't do it you know why because of the prevailing customs the existing traditions which didn't allow them to do so it was the custom and tradition of the society that girls should not be sent for higher education i must tell you this is also the custom prevailing still now if you go to uh, many parts of the northern states in the country you will find girls you will find women who are not allowed to go to schools you should know the inspiring story of malala yousafzai students who fought against all these odds in her country and dedicated all her life to fight for education because education is the most powerful weapon and santosh yadav also from her childhood got to know this that whatever she had to do has to be done with the help of education anyhow because of the prevailing system of the society she chose not to argue and go along with the system to follow whatever was going on and she decided to follow everything in a calm positive and quiet way 
So she decided not to revolt now, not to argue now and to go to the local school to pursue her education. After her education when she turned 16, it was a practice in her society that the girls were used to marry. The girls were married at a very early age. So she was not in favor of this because most of the girls at her age had to be married and she was not in favor of getting married. She was also compelled, she was also under pressure from her parents to marry at an early age. But she had her own dreams, she had her own aspirations. She didn't want to marry so early. Now let us see what happened next. A marriage as early as that was the last thing on her mind. She threatened her parents that she would never marry if she did not get a proper education. She left home and got herself enrolled in a school in Delhi. When her parents refused to pay for her education, she politely informed them of her plans to earn money by working part-time to pay her school fees. Her parents then agreed to pay for her education. She knew that once she is married, all her desires, all her hopes and aspirations are going to be buried forever and ever. So marriage at this early age was the last thing which was in her mind. She didn't want to marry now. And for that, she fought now. This was the time she raised her voice against her parents. She threatened her parents. She scared them that if you are not allowing me to pursue further education, I am not going to marry forever. I have to get my education first. And if you do not support me, I will do it on my own. If it is required, I will work part time. But I will study. I will study for my future, for my life. And she informed them that you have to think about this. You have to give a second thought. Earning money is not that important. But yes, getting my education in the right way is very important. Observing her urge and this passionate desire to get more further education, parents could not stop from supporting her and finally they agreed to pay for her education. That was the first step of success you could say for Santosh in her life. Wishing always to study a bit more and with her father slowly getting used to her urge for more education, Santosh passed the high school examinations and went to Jaipur. She joined Maharani College and got a room in Kasturba Hostel. Santosh remembers Kasturba Hostel faced the Aravali Hills. I used to watch villagers from my room going up the hill and suddenly vanishing after a while. One day, I decided to check it out myself. I found nobody except a few mountaineers. I asked if I could join them. To my pleasant surprise, they answered in the affirmative and motivated me to take to climbing. Now what happened? This urge, this desire in her, this curiosity and enthusiasm, the zeal in her to learn more, more, more. It even insisted her father, it persuaded her father to be supportive in this desire of hers to get further education. And he supported Santosh in her every endeavor. Now Santosh finally passed the high school examinations from her local school of the village. And finally she moved to Jaipur. She joined the Maharani College in Jaipur and she got a room finally in the Kasturba Hostel. This was the first time she was away from her parents, she was away from her conservative village and she was in the city with a new chapter of life. Santosh remembers of the past time and she feels that when she would see from her room, she would find this amazing villagers in the nearest village going up the hill and suddenly vanishing. They disappeared after a while and it created a curiosity in her mind. It filled her 
with her new desire to find out what was happening, what was that new venture. And so finally, she decided it herself to find out the real fact, the real truth. So she went to the villagers and she found some mountaineers, mountaineers, those who climb mountains. And she asked, she was so excited, she was so eager to join them and to try out this new venture of mountaineering. And she asked their permission to allow her to join them, to accompany them in their journey. And to everybody's surprise, she was a stranger. But still then, the villagers responded in a yes. They were positive, they were affirmative and it inspired her to take up climbing. From here, a complete new chapter started for Santosh Yadav because her desire was born from here, from this excitement where she was allowed by the villagers to take up mountaineering. Fine. Now let us move to the next part. Then there was no looking back for this determined young girl. She saved money and enrolled in a course at Uttar Kashi's Nehru Institute of Mountaineering. My college semester in Jaipur was to end in April, but it ended on the 19th of May. And I was supposed to be in Uttarkashi on the 21st. So, I did not go back home. Instead, I headed straight for the training. I had to write a letter of apology to my father, without whose permission I had got myself enrolled at Uttarkashi. Now, just after getting the approval from the villagers, there was no further looking back for this young, brave girl. She decided that whatever may be the consequences, whatever may be the challenges, whatever may be the obstacles in front of her, but yes, she had to go for it. And she saved every penny, whatever was sent from her father for her further education. And she used that money to get admission into the finest institute of mountaineering, which was Uttarkashi's Nehru Institute of Mountaineering. And she was so excited to learn so many facts about this venture, about mountaineering. She remembers that her college semester, the final exam, you know, the semester, it was over by the 19th of May and she was to be in Uttarkashi on the 21st. So she could not go back to her home. Instead, she headed straight for the training. Such was the zeal for learning mountaineering. She could not stop herself. She could not wait for that day. She could not wait for that moment when she was going to learn mountaineering. So she forgot everything. She missed her home also. She didn't go back to her home after the exams, you know. We all are so excited when you are away from your home. We all feel that when this vacation will come and we have to go to our home to enjoy the delicacies made by our mother. But she didn't wait for that. For her, there was one thing in her mind, students. It was mountaineering. She had to learn mountaineering. And she was ready to pay any price for learning this. She had to pursue her dream of learning mountaineering. So she made up her mind that whatever it may be, I have to miss my home. I don't have to go to my home, but I have to go to Uttarkashi to learn mountaineering. And she headed straight for the training. That's what we can see. The positivity, the determination of this young girl that she missed going to her home and she headed for the training. Do you know what? She wrote an apology letter to her father. She was so sorry because she could not take the permission of her father for this training program. You could see the zeal for learning mountaineering in Santosh Yadav that she wrote a letter of apology to her father without whose permission she got enrolled at Uttarkashi. You could see the positive mindset of 
this young courageous girl who fought every odd in order to reach her goal let us find out what more did she do in order to reach her desired goal thereafter santosh went on an expedition every year her climbing skills matured rapidly also she developed a remarkable resistance to cold and the altitude equipped with an iron will physical endurance and an amazing mental toughness she proved herself repeatedly the culmination of her hard work and sincerity came in 1992 just 4 years after she had shyly asked the aravalli mountaineers if she could join them at barely 20 years of age santosh yadav scaled mount everest becoming the youngest woman in the world to achieve the feat if her climbing skills physical fitness and mental strength impressed her seniors her concern for others and desire to work together with them found her a special place in the hearts of fellow climbers now let us analyze this further after getting enrolled at uttarkashi santosh went on an expedition you know what is an expedition it's a kind of journey or voyage for a special purpose with a group of people so she attended these expeditions every year and with every expedition her skills matured it strengthened it enhanced and it sharpened very rapidly very fast and also she had developed a remarkable resistance you could see immunity resistance is an immunity to cold and the altitude if she would climb for further distances you know when you go high and high the altitude increases and it's very cold up there so she had got that resistance that she would not feel that cold and she would not be scared from the height and the altitude equipped she was all furnished with an iron will you know iron iron is the strongest metal she had this never ending will power a very strong a very firm determination and a very strong will power physical endurance your physical strength is very important when you have to face this tough competitions related to mountaineering where your physical stamina is required and she had an amazing mental toughness you know a healthy body lives in a healthy mind so your mind should be very healthy and very strong when you have to fight this odd challenges in your life there will be many instances there will be many circumstances the situations where you will feel very low you will feel very depressed and there will be negativity all around you you will be surrounded with negative people around you but if you are strong mentally if you are strong emotionally then nothing can pull you back that is what we have to learn from santosh yadav that she had that strong will power she had that strength that very strong strength in her physical attribute and an amazing mental toughness she was emotionally and mentally very strong and she proved herself repeatedly again and again she proved that that i am not going to fail i am not going to give up and this resulted culmination is the conclusion culmination is the final conclusion the result of this came in the year 1992 the result of her sincerity the result of her hard work of her determination was quite evident it was all visible in the year 1992 how because she was the first young woman to scale mount everest and when she did it she was only 20 years old it was two young students too young she was too young to gain this in her life and it was just after 4 years look at her confidence just 4 years back 
when she was in the kasturba hostel she approached the stranger she approached the villagers to ask she was very shy at that time because she was too young she was very shy she asked for their permission whether she could join them in mountaineering and today she was the first woman to scale mount everest at such a young age isn't it a miracle yes definitely it is when you have a strong determination a strong will power and you have the strong stamina this mental toughness with you everything is possible so that happened in the case of santosh yadav so students i know you have learnt the chapter quite well and let me check whether you have really understood the chapter or not so here is a question to test your knowledge from this portion whatever we have covered okay so now students let us discuss the question answer why was the holy man who gave santosh mother his blessings surprised let me repeat the question why was the holy man who gave santosh mother his blessings surprised you might be knowing this answer yes now let me discuss the answer the holy man who gave santosh mother his blessings was surprised because her grandmother sought blessings for a daughter in this society most of the people ask the seers to bless for a son so that was quite unusual for the saint now here is the next question give an example to show that even as a young girl santosh was not ready to accept anything unreasonable are you getting it let me tell you the answer the example which shows that young girl santosh was not ready to accept anything unreasonable was she used to wear shorts and not the traditional dresses meant for the girls here is another question for you why was santosh sent to the local school let me repeat the question why was santosh sent to the local school here is the answer she was sent to the local school in accordance with the prevailing customs in the family so dear students this is what is the incredible and inspiring story of santosh yadav is but there are many more interesting and inspiring facts about the life of santosh yadav would not you like to know them yes but you have to wait we will continue the same chapter in our next class so till then keep smiling and stay safe and stay happy as you always used to do till then thank you Thank you.